Hi students, I am Snehal and in this video we are going to see how to study physics for the NEET 2024 so that you will score 180 out of 180 in physics. So it doesn't matter whether you are a beginner, you are at 0 out of 180, you are at 40 or 50 out of 180, this plan is applicable to everybody. So if you want to note down these steps, just grab a piece of paper and a pen and let's begin. So first of all, let's start with the study material. You might already have purchased some material, but nonetheless, let me go through this list once. So you must have the printed copy of NEAT physics syllabus. Trust me, this is going to help you a lot. You must, must have the printed copy of NEAT physics syllabus. Okay, after that, you must have the NCRT physics books of class 11 and class 12. And the reason for this is very often the questions have been asked directly from the solved examples of NCRT physics books. So you must have the NCRT physics books of class 11 and class 12 physics. After that, you need to have a solved PYQ book so that you will come to know what kind of questions have been asked in previous years. Okay, so the third thing you need to have is solved PYQ book. After that, you need to have one book for the sake of practice now this thing is subjective so if you are going to some coaching which provides you with ample number of practice questions then i would say an extra practice book is not that necessary but if you are studying of your own from let's say some youtube videos or youtube courses then you must have a practice book okay so i will give you three recommendations first one is mtg Objective NCRT Physics at your fingertips. Second one is Singage Neat Physics and third one is Aryan that is DC Pandey Neat Physics book. So all of these books are very famous books actually. They are very good and I don't have any preference at all. So you can do your research and you can pick a good book for you. Okay, so I would just say one book is enough. You don't need to purchase all of them so now we have all the study material so let's talk about the study plan so our study plan will have three stages so first stage is from today till end of 2023 till the 31st of december 2023 second stage is from 1st of jan of 2024 till the 31st of march 2024 okay this is the revision stage and third stage is from 1st of April 2024 till the day of NEET exam. Okay, so let's talk about these stages in detail. So let's suppose you're going to some coaching or you are studying of your own, you are attending some YouTube lectures, etc. So how to study? Now, when you are watching a lecture in person or on the YouTube, then you have to take rough notes during the lectures. So whatever you feel is important, some important concept, just note it down in short or some important formula, just note it down. Okay. So you don't write down each and everything, just take rough notes. Then after you come home from your coaching or you finish your online lecture, you should make detailed notes, detailed notes of whatever each and everything that had been taught in that class. Okay. So to make these detailed notes, you should refer your NCRT physics book and your coaching material or you have some practice book, right? DC Pandey or MTG, you should refer those books. So write down each and every concept in detail. So right now you don't know which thing is important, which thing is not important. So don't tend to go for short notes, make detailed notes. Okay. This is very, very important. So after that also, make a list of important formulas so right now all the formulas are important so make a list of formulas so now you have your detailed notes and the list of important formulas so next thing that you must do is try some pyqs some previous year questions so take your pyqs book and try to solve some previous year questions based upon the topics taught in the class okay so you must do this thing on the same day so try to solve some previous year questions by yourself. Don't go through the solutions. Try to solve them. Then there are chances that you will be able to solve them or you might not be able to solve them. 
it's okay so if you are not able to solve these questions try to understand the solutions okay so try to understand the solutions and then once you go through these previous year questions pick some questions from your dpps given by the coaching or if you are studying of your own we have the practice book right so pick some mcqs from that practice book based upon the topic and then give it a shot try to solve these questions okay so once again try to solve them first and don't go through the solutions okay so practice a lot of questions and then once you are done with the complete chapter you study in this manner then take a chapter wise mock test so once again if you are going for some offline or online coaching they will conduct the test series right so you need to appear for the tests don't skip them but if you are not going for any coaching then what you should do is take your practice book once again and pick 45 questions okay and try to attempt them in 45 minutes so that's how you can test yourself okay so if you are not going for a coaching you need to test yourself right so take chapter wise mock test after that you are done with the chapter done and dusted so mark the completed portion in the syllabus that you have completed this chapter just do a tick mark okay so this will give you a moral boost motivation so what are all the steps till now you will study you will make notes you will make list of formulas you will solve pyqs and you will practice questions and you will appear for tests and apart from these things what you need to do is you need to revise whatever you study okay so plan out a revision schedule so you should do weekly revisions whatever is covered in a week you must revise it on weekends and whatever is covered in a month you must revise it at the end of the month okay so take out 2 3 days at the end of the month and you must revise whatever is covered in the whole month in those 2 3 days all right so this is how you will study till the 31st december 2023 and by studying in this manner you must finish the complete syllabus by the end of december 2023 okay so what you should do after that so after that comes our next stage so that is the revision stage okay so from 1st of jan till 31st of march 2024 we need to revise okay the complete syllabus so revise everything everything every concept in great detail so take out your notes okay your detailed notes and study everything okay and there are chances that you remember everything and there are some chances that you don't remember something so try to understand those things strengthen your concepts okay if there is some confusion ask your teachers or watch some youtube lectures but strengthen your concepts and study everything okay revise everything in detail so now you know most of the things so here is the stage to make your short notes okay so make your short notes now okay because now you are able to figure out which are the important things which are the things which are not so uh, not so important so now to take short notes include the important things and include the formulas okay tips and tricks also so update your formula list now you have made your short notes so now it's the time to memorize everything you need to memorize this concepts the important concepts tips and tricks and these formulas all the formulas okay and once you do that for one chapter let's say so go through some practiced multiple choice questions so you had practiced some questions right now it's the time to go through them once again and make sure that you are able to solve each and every question okay so make sure that you are able to solve all of those questions and again solve some extra questions per chapter okay and once you do these things again make a tick mark on the completed portion in your syllabus so you had already made a tick mark right so now let's suppose earlier you had made a tick mark with a blue pen so for the revision revision use red pen okay so this is the tick mark for revision okay so make tick mark on the completed portion and once again now once you complete some portion okay let's say you complete some section 
let's suppose the first part of class 11 okay take section wise tests okay this is very very important it's very important to keep on testing yourself right so take section wise tests all right and then once you are done with all of these take some test on the complete syllabus okay appear for some test on the complete syllabus so you should finish all of these things by 31st of march 2024 okay and after that what are you going to do so now this is the last stage of our study plan okay we are into the last stage now very few days will be left one month or so so now you should study entirely from your short notes and formula list only okay don't refer to the detailed notes maybe if there is some confusion somewhere you can refer okay but you should study mainly from your short notes and formula list okay after that keep on memorizing the tricks and formulas then again go through practice questions okay this is important make sure that you are able to solve them even now okay once again you are done with certain portion make sure that you make a tick this thing is important because it will keep on motivating you in your long journey of neat physics preparation so make sure that you make a tick all right so once you are done with certain section take a section wise test and at the end take at least three tests on the complete syllabus all right so take at least three tests on the complete syllabus in this month okay so this is our study plan for the NEET 2024 if you follow this plan i am pretty sure that you will secure a very good score in NEET 2024 all right so finally there is a small announcement for you if you are preparing for the NEET 2024 but you struggle with physics we are starting our zero to hero physics course for the NEET 2024 from 15th of june 2023 okay so if you are someone who is interested in this course please contact me on this number double nine seven zero eight zero six four zero four okay and also if you just want the pdf of this session please contact me on the same number double nine seven zero eight zero six four zero four i hope you liked the video okay see you in the next video thanks for watching